Breaking news. All evacuation orders for the NCAR fire have been lifted as of 5 o'clock this evening. Firefighters continue to make progress on the wildfire that is still burning in Boulder tonight. Thank you for joining us this Sunday evening. I'm Kelly Worthman. The now 189 acre fire did start around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon near the Flatirons there in Boulder. Fire officials say crews got to work quickly and are getting better control of those flames. Now, as of this afternoon, the fire is 35 percent contained. What I will tell you is that there will be smoke visible on this thing probably for the next week, but uh, I feel very good about the containment por portion of this and you'll see the percentages go up rapidly. More than 100 firefighters are continuing suppression efforts there. Cooler temperatures and slower winds did help today. We're going to talk with Chris Spears here in just a minute about the changing weather conditions. Meanwhile, Michael Abeda live in Boulder tonight. And Michael, we heard the incident commander about an hour ago with some good news on this fire. Still, though, it's a scary sight since it's only been a few months since the Marshall Fire. Yeah, Kelly, you know, everybody that I seem to talk to today here in the Boulder area said that when they saw the smoke rising over those flat irons yesterday, they realized they had a little bit of unresolved trauma from the Marshall Fire, but luckily firefighters were able to get this under control without any structures being burned and nobody injured. Just like a beautiful day to hike, you know. Ben Holden went with his dog and a group of friends on a hike Saturday west of Boulder above NCAR. When they started heading back down from their summit, he saw a familiar sight. Basically, we see this like smoke developing behind a ridge. You see, Ben moved to Superior two days before the Marshall Fire. He had to evacuate for that, so he knew right away what was coming over that ridge wasn't good. And I was like, this looks like a wildfire um, brewing, so we should get off this mountain. He stopped long enough to grab this video of he and his fellow outdoorsmen fleeing what would become the NCAR fire. He says he only had one thought, getting to safety. Holy crap, like this is like way bigger than you, than you thought it would be. We have resources from all over the front range coming in and working on this. 200 firefighters from 30 different agencies spent Saturday and Sunday evacuating more than 1,000 people and fighting the NCAR fire. Dry, windy conditions made things difficult for them, but there were some things on their side. Good planning, good prep, and a lot of good mitigation work are the reasons that we had good success today. As of Sunday morning, no structures had burned and no injuries were reported. Ben has now escaped two wildfires since moving to Colorado three months ago. But despite that, he says he's here to stay. I still like Colorado. Did you know I, I don't uh, regret coming here. I came here. Now, firefighters said that their strategy for fighting the fire today was going to be to push it up against the rocky, snowy flat irons and away from the city and then hope that the weather cooperated. It seems that they have done the, both of those things. In Boulder, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first.